It has been 3 ranked seasons, so now we can get a sense of what your highest rank says about you. You don't play ranked or you just started, I refuse to believe that a single human being can get past bronze because of skill. This is as bad as bronze, if not worse. If you see a bronze player, they might have tried ranked and not liked it, but if they are silver, they have played a lot and failed, or really made sure they don't like it. They either found that ranked is just not for them, or they are the type of player who thinks they are good but then first pick Edgar every time and spam kudos and report when they lose. If they have two season badge in silver, that means that's for sure second option. If you are stuck in gold, you lack any decision making skills or any fully developed skills for that matter, but if you're climbing and you just find yourself in gold at the moment, that means you can probably get to diamond, I mean, you shouldn't have any trouble. Also, how the f*** did you get all the ranked skins? You might not have enough brawlers at power 9 to continue, which is the most likely thing honestly, or you might just not want to. If you decide to keep pushing, mythic is literally free, but if you don't like games taking 10 minutes because of the ban and pick phase, that is completely understandable. You have the exact same skill level as anybody on diamond. If you're here, you probably ranked up from diamond and decided to stay, or maybe you tried to go a bit further but decided it was too hard. You're not terrible at the game, but this is not a high rank, do not dare think it is a high rank, you are not good, you're just not terrible. Also, you push here every season to keep that purple background and the stars because they look good. This is without a doubt the peak of the confidence skill curve. Every player here thinks they are top 5%, but about 90% of players can get here within a day with no problem. They spam brutal suggestions like they know what they're doing and they get mad at you or even throw for any non-perfect play and they all think they deserve to be legendary and masters and blame everybody but their skill issue. They don't understand that anybody with IQ above room temperature can get here if they have been playing for over a week and actually think that Mythic is a high rank. Here lie the ones who refuse to give up. Mythic 3 players are on their way to legendary but not quite there yet. You have probably dropped all the way to Mythic 1 several times but you came back up. With enough time and a bit of luck you can make it to legendary, you have the skill required. Believe me, there is no real difference between the Mythic 3 players and the legendary 1 players. You're gonna keep trying until you get it. Players here understand that they aren't god gamers but they are practicing to get there and they certainly left the bottom 50%. Most players stop here, you got past the toxic wasteland of mythic rank and are able to flex your battle card in most lobbies. You see a lot of players that get here once and then every other season after without ever trying to get further. If you got here without being carried, you're a good player and likelihood is that if you do your challenges you probably win them and have 40,000 or more trophies. You got Legendary 1 and tried to get further but you didn't really. Because of time availability or teammates or just bad luck and skill, you chose to leave it here and push to Legendary every next season to try your luck next time. Press F to pay respects. You went for Masters and were just short. You despise that one random who made you lose that last game before your rank up and you either gave up after a disheartening loss or kept trying but you ran out of time. You're not bad and most likely could be masters with a bit more time or a bit more luck, but this is a respectable place nonetheless. Congratulations, you've made it. You are welcomed to the division of the best players, unless you got carried here of course, you can now intimidate pretty much anybody under legendary with your battle card alone, and the more stars the better. You genuinely know what to pick and ban and have a decently deep understanding of game mechanics and intuition. And now that you reach here, you will come back every season and there's nothing that can stop you from doing so. Masters above 9.5 thousand ELO You kept going, everybody else stopped but you chose to prove that you're at the end of the skill curve. You probably are in your original top due to your insane drafts and mechanics and probably are the team leader in every lobby. Congratulations, you are now officially amongst the best players, unless you got carried here. Masters, above 10,000 ELO. You're amongst the very best players in the world. Depending on how the season went and how early you pushed, you might be on the global leaderboard and are almost surely in the very top of your region. If you decide to keep going, that means you're probably fighting for those very first spots on the leaderboard. Why are you even watching this video? You should be out there grinding and getting into an esports team. You probably are in the double or triple digits in the global leaderboard in a good season and are absolutely the friend that they call when they need to push a rank 30 or rank 35. Congratulations 
don't know what you're doing here, but you've made it.